Welcome to the installation video for the Super Control Flush Valve. We will be uh, showing you six steps for the uh, installation of this valve. Having turned the water off at the wall and removed the lid from the tank, and finally having flushed all the water out of the tank, you are ready to begin step one. With most of the water drained out of the tank, your first step is to simply remove the flapper from the inside of the toilet on the posts on the inside of the toilet. Unhook the chain and remove the flapper from the inside of the toilet tank. Having done that, look at the base where the flapper was in order to determine whether the base in your toilet is flat, as in this illustration, or whether it is slanted, as in this second example. Step number two, remove all of the components from the package and lay them out on a table, as in this example. Take the main stem, and take the extension arm with the semicircular fittings and slide those two pieces together. There's a screw that will join them together. Very lightly tighten that screw so that they are held together temporarily and they won't slide apart. Next, take the stainless steel washer and slip it onto the bottom of the stem where there is a small indicator arm that will be used to line up the stopper that next goes onto the stem. Simply take the stopper, push it onto the bottom where the threads are, and turn it around until that tightens up. If the bottom of your tank where the stopper went is flat, you tighten the stopper up to where there's a single knob on the bottom. If your uh, stopper is an angled one, you line it up with the three dots on the bottom. You are now finished assembling that piece. Step number three, remove the narrow water hose that connects the water intake valve in the corner of your tank to the overflow tube in the center of your tank and set the clipper top out of the way and the hose out of the way. Then, take your valve stem with the semicircular fitting and slide the semicircular fitting over top of the tube in the middle of your toilet. Having done that, very lightly tighten up the two screws that hold that in place so that it is held firmly because the next step will be to slide that stem down the tube to two and a half inches above the seat of the toilet flapper. So very carefully slide that down the toilet tank to two and a half inches above the toilet seat. Which I have already marked out ahead of time. Center the flapper over top of the seat on the bottom and you're all ready to go to simply tighten up those screws firmly so that you do not have to come back and tighten them again. Step number four involves loosening off the screw that connects the extension arm with the main stem. And then you simply slide that arm until you have the valve stem centered directly above the bottom of the seat where your stopper is. Tighten that up again firmly so that you do not have to come back and tighten that again. Then, reattach 
the water hose from the water intake valve to the overflow valve in the middle of the toilet and reinsert it. Step number five. You now check your existing arm to see if it's long enough to attach to the chain and be directly above the seat of the stopper at the bottom. If it's not long enough, you can use the arm that we had inserted in the package, which is about two inches longer. In the case of this toilet, the existing arm is exactly the right length, so we will use that. So, attach the chain to the end of the arm, and that will connect the super control flush valve to the arm. We then turn the water back on and refill the tank. Now once the tank is filled back up, you might want to check where the water level is compared to the overflow tube in the middle of your tank. Ideally, you want that water level to be about a quarter inch from the top, which is what this is. That will give you the maximum amount of pressure in your flush. If it's too low, then you'll have less pressure. Step number six. At this point, your toilet is fully functional and you can experiment with uh, flushing it. If you want to adjust the amount of water that flushes out of your tank, there's a very simple way of doing that, which is to take this little green plastic knob where the floats are and loosen it off. If you push that down on the stem, you will use more water, and if you slide it up the stem, you will use less water. You have now successfully completed the installation instructions for the installation of the Super Control Flush Valve. In summary, following the installation of the Super Control Flush Valve, we have a before and after series that we'd like to show you. The before series, when we're using 12 liters of water with the flapper valve, looks like this. And the after picture with the installation of the super control flush valve and the flushing of only six liters of water looks like this.